This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 211. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the Chapter 2 Supplemental Problems on page 10. Suppose you have a circuit in a box and we cut a hole and we're able to take some measurements on pieces of a circuit that we see. Can we use those measurements to solve for the current I1, the current I2, and the voltage across this open circuit V sub AB? I'm going to use Kirchhoff's voltage law, current law, and Ohm's law to solve for these unknown currents and voltage. What I've got here on the middle of the page is that same schematic drawn, and I've labeled my steps as I begin to solve for the unknown currents and voltage. I'm hoping again as you go through the course that you'll be able to do things like this. This will save you lots of time in writing equations, but just kind of doing the work right on the schematic. I was given that the voltage across here was 20 volts, and so it's not a bad place to start. I could use Ohm's law to find the current of 20 volts divided by 5 ohms, or 4 amps. Now I know the current entering here is 4 amps, the current leaving is 1 amp and 2 amps. Current then in this direction would be equal to 1 amp, but I'm defining I1 the other way, so that's going to be equal to a minus 1 amp. That's my second step. I now know that there's 1 amp entering here and 4 amps entering, so I've got 5 amps leaving, and that's my third step. If I know the current is 5 amps and I have 10 ohms, then 5 amps times 10 ohms is 50 volts. That's my fourth step. I'm also given the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor as 24 volts, so you're going to use Ohm's law to take this uh, voltage and divide by the resistance and get 24 volts divided by 8 ohms or 3 amps, and that's my fifth step. So I have 5 amps entering, I have 3 amps leaving, so I must have 2 going in this direction, and that's my sixth step. I2 and I1 were things we were asked to solve for in our problem, so we have those and just put a little box around those. Well, lastly, here's my V sub AB, so let's make this a rise in voltage. I have a rise in voltage of 6, a rise in voltage of minus 20, a drop of 50, and a drop of 24. And that's what's shown right here. So now I can solve for the voltage V sub AB. So I've got the 50 plus the 24, plus another 20, and then minus 6. And that turns out to be 88. And this is supplemental problem 211.